Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Messages from your specific person. What is it that they wish to say to you? We're going to find out. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. see here we got the power of number eight eight again maybe we'll get an eight 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 six okay looks like we're going to the number 22 some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Leo or a Virgo born in the month of August. You could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian born in the month of June. You may also be dealing with possibly an Aquarius or a Pisces born in the month of February. You could have been born in 1962 or possibly 1968. Others of you could have been born in 1982, 1986, and or possibly 1988. But either way, Go into the power of number 22 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. And 22. <clears throat> Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please, from Scorpio's person unto them? Or what is going on in their environment? What could they be thinking and or feeling about Scorpio? Uh, they're still attracted to you, Scorpio. Got the Queen of Wands coming in. Or they also view you or... I'm hearing the statement of like, they understand or know that you command some form of a presence or they view you as if you're in your power, which could have made them feel very intimidated by you, Scorpio, even though your confidence was what attracted this person to you in the first place and it could have been the way you walk the way you wear your hair your dress your makeup uh just your overall energy okay so they are still very much attracted to you however queen of wands can also represent a third party situation mm -hmm. but they can view you as like this God or goddess like energy. There's just something different about you. And that, again, also was something that an energy that pulled them in like a magnet. They also view you as very highly ambitious and intelligent. They've been all up in their head. They're feeling stuck and or trapped. So in their environment, they feel stuck and trapped with this karmic third party, Nine of Swords. You could also be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. And of course, with the Queen of Wands, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. They've been really wanting to reach out to you, Scorpio, Page of Wands. You know, just to open up the means of communication, possibly to be a little flirtatious with you, or they really do want to see you face to face or go out on a date with you, possibly. So, yeah, they're feeling stuck and trapped. Like, cut in the middle of the deck. I have the Six of Swords in the reverse. They feel like something here in their environment is just not moving fast enough. Let's see what else is going on in their environment. Trusted ancestors, show me this person that Scorpio has been dealing with. What's going on in their environment, please? Yeah, see, they have been wanting to reach out to you, a message. Some of you guys could be receiving a message from this person in the next seven days. 
or possibly in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. Expectation. They either, okay, I feel like this is a two-sided energy. Okay, so they had high expectations. When they walked away from you, they had like this high expectation that this third party situation was going to be like the be all end all, but they're feeling trapped. So this energy of the nine of swords is dominating over the expectation. Okay. So that tells me they're not getting their wishes fulfilled. I do feel like you have a very strong past life connection with this person because I'm looking at the imagery of the type of clothing that this character is wearing. You know, some of you could have even had a past life with this person back to Victorian times. They're longing or yearning. Or they're getting lost. They're getting lost in their thoughts. I also feel too, like maybe deep down inside that they want you to reach out to them, Scorpio just to say hello or something, but don't you do that. <laughs> don't you do that. Uh -uh. No, no, no. Stand your Scorpio ground, okay? Don't do that because this person, they really left you hanging. And I'm seeing the hanged man card in my mind's eyes. So some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces, but you could also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. So your person could have also been born on the 28th of a particular month. Their, their expectations were not met with this third party. So now it's like this person is looking in the direction of the message card. Mm -hmm. Should I reach out to Scorpio or shouldn't I? Mm. See what their higher self wants to say. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you came closer than anyone. And in some of my past readings, this card has come up quite often. Their expectations with this karmic third party are not being met. They've been in denial, you guys. They've been in denial. They're finally realizing that them and this karmic are not meant for one another, but they could also be second guessing themselves. They could have even told you this before in the past. I just don't think that we're meant to be together. And, or they could have flat out told you I'm in love with somebody else, or, uh, I'm just not healed. I just, I don't know. I can't seem to get it together. I mean, they gave you a lot of excuses yet. They seemed like they were just all in, you know what I mean? So there was, in truth, throughout your intuition, Scorpio, with this connection with this person, you had no reason to doubt your intuition, okay? But something, you know, got offset here. It's because they were feeling stuck or trapped in their thoughts. And they just, you know what, that to me is just showing me that they're restless. They're restless right, right now because the Nine of Swords is about restless energy, Something's weighing heavily down upon them in their thoughts about you and how things have transpired. And yet there's this burning desire underneath because they're still attracted to you to want to reach out and communicate because they're wondering, they're curious, they're curious as to, you know, what's going on in your world. think this person they really second guess themselves they never used to second guess themselves they came off as very bold and confident towards you Scorpio <laughs> I told you remember how I said they're still attracted to you you're incredibly alluring to me you got the red rose from them 
-hmm. Thank you, trusted ancestors. <sighs> invisible. They made you feel invisible. I don't really see you in a romantic way. Mm -hmm. Them, I think that was past tense. This person is going back and forth in their thoughts and their emotions. However, they're not seeing this karmic anymore in an attractive way or in a romantic way. Because something's off. They want to connect. They pull back. They want to connect, pull back. They get stuck in their thoughts. They go through the motion. They're living a lie, you guys. That's what I feel here. They're living a lie thinking that they're so happy. Somebody feels trapped or stuck like a dog, okay? Or they feel like they're in the doghouse with this karmic. See what their romantic self wants to say. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Spirit is trying to forewarn them. They were forewarning them about this karmic. They didn't pay attention to the red flags. Spirit was also trying to forewarn you two uh, about your person. Because a lot of you could feel your person at one point in time slipping away from you. So what spirit was trying to do is like saying, okay, this person, they're getting distracted. They're becoming weird. They're becoming strange. We got to pull you out of the equation of this to protect you also too from getting hurt even further. Okay. So spirit saw the red flags ahead of time and they were trying to forewarn you that something was off and your person was becoming cold or distant. Their text messages were very vague, blah. Um, yeah. See, if you try to contact them, Scorpio, it's going to be a red flag because they're they're not ready. This has to come from their soul, you know, to reach out. They have to feel that compelling energy. And they do. It's burning with inside of them. I can feel it because, again, their expectations did not get met. And it's like they're now they're thinking. They're gazing upon their life and what is going on and how they feel. Again, attraction. They're still attracted to you flat out black and white it says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully like again scorpio they want to be in your presence but listen they have to come in in a very in like a very organic way okay you can still manifest for them because to manifest is organic energy we are the universe we are not separated from source the power is with inside of you and you don't your mental state of mind, Scorpio, does not have to accept, okay, because it's a choice not to accept that what this person's actions are doing to, di to dictate your reality with them. Because mind you again, and I've said this a few times over, is that free will does not exist in somebody's mind, okay? Like if you're imagining being with this person, you know you're meant, their energy is conforming to you. So they're still attracted. So your mantra should be like, my specific person is so incredibly attracted to me. They're gearing up to reach out to me. They're desperate to reach out to me. They want to make things right. They want They feel compelled to apologize to me, whatever it is, whatever your storyline is all about with this person. So they're like, you came closer than anyone. Yeah, because they're not... Th they're not happy or they're not getting exactly what they want because maybe this karmic could have became very boring to them. Like it became routine. Exactly, spirits. I'm lost. 
I don't know what to do. Yeah, they're I told you, they're lost in their thoughts. They're gazing out on their life. The choices that they made. Yeah, exactly. Karmic connection, moving from past patterns. All that glitters was not gold. Yeah. So. Choose to keep manifesting for them if you still want them to come forward. But manifest in steps. Because right now, Scorpio, like if you see yourself getting married to this person, if marriage is on your bucket list, it may be too difficult for your mindset right now to see them proposing to you. I'm not saying don't think about that. But think about where the connection really truly stands right now. The very first thing that has to happen really in truth, is, especially if you've been at a distance from this person and they haven't reached out, it, and if you feel that they owe you an apology, that's where the manifestation needs to come in first, is for them to have the courage, manifest for them to have the courage and the strength to open up, communicate. Remember, third party situations don't matter. Okay, because guess what? Third party situations are constantly changing and dissolving. Okay, right now, zone in on really in truth how you feel about this person. It's going to take some practice to get out of the frequency of how this person hurt you. Okay, and it's, it's, it's a challenge. I'm not going to say it's easy because... We retrieve back to the past of the good times. We retrieve back to the past of how things happened and fell apart and all of this. Yet part of your mindset goes to the future. Like what if they come forward? Right now it's about future forward thinking, but doing it in the present tense because the present tense right now is your power source. It's your power time. This is the most valuable time right now as you're awake, living and breathing the power of now and your mantras and so-and-so is reaching out to me. They want to communicate. They're gearing up to communicate with me. They are releasing their fears. They are coming in in a very humble way. We'll be able to sit down and talk. That feels better to use those type of mantra affirmational statements than to keep retrieving. It's a waste of your time and energy to keep going back to the things that hurt you. Okay. See your, see your person coming correct. What does coming correct mean for you? Because it's not just about you winning and dominating over this person. It's about the two of you winning together. So that again, creating healthy partnerships. So this takes practice, you know, especially when we have love trauma and the abandonment issues, working through the abandonment issues, your self-concept, your confidence level. All right. So just know right now they're lost in their thoughts. They, they feel stuck. They feel trapped. They want to reach out. They're so attracted to you. They had the attraction is not gone. So we're going to leave it at that. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. I am running a June reading special, four questions for $25. So when you email me at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com, my assistant, Victoria, will put you on my weekly recording schedule, okay? So, and if you like this content, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time, take care.